Hey guys, wanted to make a video. I just finished my fourth Tough Mudder yesterday. It was awesome. And it was really cold out. It made it really hard. It's probably the toughest one I've done. It took a lot of mental fortitude to get through that thing, but uh, it was a hell of a good time. If you guys don't know what Tough Mudder is, it's a 12 mile race with 25 hardcore obstacles. Stuff like uh, mud pits, walls you gotta climb over, planks you gotta jump 15 feet in the water from, and electrocution obstacles. It's pretty hardcore, and uh, it's not for the uh, not for the timid. But uh, if it sounds look cool to you, check out toughmutter.com. The race is uh, a hell of a lot of fun, and it's a great test of your fitness, both like strength and endurance. So uh, I suggest you check it out and do it if you haven't done it. But you're gonna have to train because it's definitely hard. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know, I am not sore at all today. Completely recovered from it. And I know that people I ran the race with are complaining on Twitter and Facebook about how sore their legs are and their knees hurt and their feet hurt and all these things. And I feel bad for them and I don't want to mock them, but I just want to say that I feel great today. I went out for a workout during lunch, felt fine, had a good little run, some pull-ups on the bar and stuff like that, and felt great. So the secret to my recovery, I just want to share with you guys, there's really no secret. Number one, get lots of sleep. I didn't sleep too well the night before the race, but last night I, ca I just went to bed, turned off the lights, and went to sleep at 9 o'clock, which is pretty early for me. And then I woke up at 7.30, so that's like 10 and a half hours sleep, and that makes a huge difference. So when you're tired on a day like that, you got to get your rest. So early nights, definitely huge help. And then number two, I say it all the time on here, but whole plant foods, fruits and vegetables being the best, and just... You, get, you gotta eat a lot of them. I'm not saying just like eat two apples. I'm saying eat a shitload of fruits and vegetables. Stuff your face with them. Just like, you know, banana, just like monkeys and apes and all those guys do. Just eat tons of bananas, whatever fruits in season. Right now it's grapes, dates, um, and pretty much bananas are always in season, right? That's what I've been eating mostly. Yesterday, the day of the race, I had like a 12 banana with half a head of lettuce smoothie for breakfast. And then I had like some dates before the race, and I had some bunch of dates during the race. And then when we finished the race, I had like a few pounds of grapes, and I was just popping them, and I was so hungry from all the running. It was like Cadbury eggs as I was eating the little suckers. just like tasted amazing, like the best grapes ever. And I was still hungry. So afterwards, we kind of pigged out for some Thai food, which isn't the best, because, you know, even though it was vegan, and it said on the menu, and they assured me it was, you never know what kind of oil or junk they use in the sauce, but I got two orders of veggie stir fry with like a triple order of rice. So I just chowed down. I mean, I was so hungry. I probably put in close to 5,000 calories that day and then went to bed early. And then today I knew I'd be hungry. I've been chowing down too. I'm on uh, smoothie number four. Each one of these are a half gallon. So I've probably eaten well over 4,000 calories today. It's been like probably about 38 bananas, two pounds of peaches a head and a half of lettuce or so. So it's all in smoothies like this. Way easier to drink a ton of bananas than it is to eat a ton of bananas. But uh, get that food in you, especially the fruits and vegetables. They're the best. Because no, let's face it, you don't want to be sore. You don't want to be injured. You don't want to be able to not work out. You want to feel good. So get your sleep. Get your fruits and vegetables in as much as you can. Don't be afraid to go excess on the sleep. And definitely don't be afraid to eat too many fruits and vegetables, eat till you are stuffed. That is the best way. So uh, I've tried stuff with protein powders and things like that and recovery formulas before and I found that, you know what, I recover the best when I do things like this. Lots of fruits and vegetables, whole foods, and plenty of sleep. So uh, if you got any questions or feedback, let me know. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me a comment, send me a message. Uh, if you got any kind of feedback, I'd love to hear from you. And just remember, keep eating those fresh fruits and vegetables. They're the best, as John Culler would say. Peace out, guys.